Yo, welcome back everyone. Today we're breaking down an experimental soul sample for someone like Tyler the Creator. And um, usually for these type of samples, harmony is the most important thing. Is the chord progression sounding interesting? You know, is the top line catchy? Because chord progression is that foundation. And if the chord progression is messed up, uh, you're pretty much done for. So the first thing I did, I started the entire sample with this arpeggio. So for this arpeggio I put half time on it and I also chopped it up but I don't remember where I got the initial idea from like from which VST because it's rendered out but I promise I'm not gatekeeping anything. It's the only thing in this breakdown that is kind of known but everything else you know I will put you on. So while this arpeggio was playing I was trying to harmonize it with a chord progression. By itself this arpeggio sounds kind of dark but listen how this chord progression made it sound happier and light. So chords themselves are not that complex. These are major and minor chords with degrees and they're also inverted, uh, which means they are not being played in the root position. So if this chord, for example, the first chord was in its root position, it would be like this, but it's inverted. Uh, it's third and the seventh degrees are pitched up by one octave. And basically we get this inversion and I'm using the same shape in this entire chord progression. And the reason why these chords work uh, is because of this chromatic movement. Like for example, the second chord is the same shape, but it's just pitched up by three semitones. And even right here, this is a major ninth chord, same shape, but it's just in a different interval. Mostly in this chord progression, it's just major chords. There are no dominant or diminished chords. Any of those passing chords is just minor and major chords, as I said. But the reason why this A minor ninth works is because they share the same notes with a G sharp major ninth. Uh, which is a G and a C. And since there's only one semitone difference, it resolves pretty nicely to the G sharp major ninth chord. And for the piano, this is the preset, this is from Keyscape. For the processing, we have Lifeline Expanse. It just made it sound a little more vintage. I also added some compression. I also boosted and cut some frequencies with this EQ. And I also have this EQ that does absolutely nothing and I don't know why I added it. Now before I start breaking down another element, I want to quickly mention that I started running my Patreon. I have a tier with monthly sounds. Basically each month you get 150 sounds, one shots, midis, textures, phrases percussion loops, basically all you need for sample making. So if you want to support this channel and in return get some high quality sounds, then feel free to purchase. But now let's get back to the video. So after the piano, I added a bass and it follows mostly the root notes and I'll play how it sounds all together. This bass is from my Yugen one shot kit. Then afterwards I added this top line. Uh, it's a flute melody and it sounds like this. So the preset is called Strawberry Flutes and it's the default preset in Mellotron. Then I added another layer for the melody and it's this ethnic string. So 
so this is the preset is from labs when i was creating this melody i had chords in mind a lot of notes in this melody are actually the same as in the chord progression and then for some bounce i added percussion loop i was looking for this weird bounce that some of the tyler songs have and it sounds like this I added some chimes and a harp run uh, to give this fantasy feel to the whole sample. Now for the second section, the next thing that I added is strings and it's from falcon it's called bohemian violin and this string is just playing one note it's nothing too crazy it's just for dynamics and movement Then afterwards I added guitar, it's a layer for the chords, you know, just basically to make everything sound interesting. And this guitar also has some melodies going on. I know I could have recorded the guitar in a more clean way, but I didn't want to make everything perfect in this sample. I was just trying to get the ideas quickly. For the processing, I added some compression. I added one more EQ that does nothing. I added reels for saturation and I also added thermal for more saturation. And I also cut some lows with this built-in EQ. Then we have a glockenspiel run and some guitar ear candies that were made with pedal called Thermi. It gave this pitch shifting effect. So this is where I got the glockenspiel from, uh, is this contact library. For the processing, the processing is simple. Now it's just a compression and also an EQ that cuts out some lows and I boosted some mids. And in this section, I added another percussion loop. It just made the rhythm sound stronger. Uh, as you can see, this percussion loop is from Beat Center's kit. And if you're wondering what sound is this one, um, it's just this sound uh, that I showed you in the first section, but it's just pitched up by one octave so that the frequencies wouldn't clash. And then finally, in the third section, I added this phrase, which is also from my July Patreon. I was just looking for something unorthodox sounding, and this phrase was perfect for that. <laughs> As the arpeggio in the first section by itself it sounds dark but the chord progression makes it sound happy and you know that's the magic of reharmonization. the fourth section is basically the same as the second section but it's just emptier this is the entire breakdown i hope everyone enjoyed it leave a like leave a comment uh, because that helps me with algorithm a little and yeah i'll see you in the next one love you and peace out